In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to sell Shiba Inu tokens on Binance and withdraw that fiat currency into your bank account. However, before we get started, as always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This video is, in fact, for entertainment purposes only. This process is correct at the time of filming, but is subject to change, and I'm not responsible if this process changes or you get this process wrong. It's also worth mentioning that just because I'm selling these SHIB tokens doesn't actually reflect my personal opinion about SHIB as a whole. Um, I actually, for full clarification, bought back in just after making this tutorial. It was just to demonstrate how you would complete this process if you guys wanted to sell and withdraw your money. So with all that said, I'm going to jump over to the computer and let me show you how we do this. So once you're logged in, you want to come up to this area here where it says wallet and you want to go to overview. Then you want to just click on this fear and spot area and that will load up this. From here, you want to go to Shib Inu and you want to click on trade. And in this case, I'm going to trade it to USDT, but you can just as easily do Binance USD, which is BUSD. But yeah, for this tutorial, I'm just going to be using USD Tether. So that takes us to this page here. Now, just double check that on the left hand side at the top, it does say Shib slash USDT. And then come down here and decide whether or not you want to sell using a limit or a market. Just to keep this video quite quick, I'm going to use a market, but by all means, if you prefer a limit, then go ahead and use that. Then I come over to the sell SHIB area and I'm going to decide how many I want to sell. And in this case, I'm going to scroll all the way up to 100%. This means I'm selling all my SHIB and converting it all into USDT. So once I'm happy with that, I click on this sell SHIB button. And because this is a market order, it's been executed straight away. However, if you've got a limit order, you could just come down here and see it in open orders. Once it has been executed, it will go into those orders confirmed. Now I'm going to go back to my wallet, go to Fiat and Spot, and you will see here in my balance, I have like 128 USDT, and that's about 90 Great British Pounds. So now what I'm going to do is, because I'm based in the UK, I'm going to convert that USDT into Great British Pounds. If you're based in another, current, uh, in another country, sorry, you'll just change it to your local currency. So to do this, we go over to the top here, click on Trade and then Classic. That loads up the exchange again. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to type in GBP, which is Great British Pounds. But if, in, if say, you're in the United States, you just type in USD. If you're in Canada, it'd be CAD, you know, just the abbreviation of your currency. Then I want to find the trading pair for my currency and USDT because I've got USDT and now I want to convert it into Great British Pounds. Now, in this case, it's right at the top here. So I'm just going to click on that. Again, just check on the top left hand side, it does say your fiat currency, which in my case is pounds, and then USDT. And once you're happy with that, you want to come down and select whether or not you want to do a limit or a market again. Again, to keep this video quick, I'm going to go with market. Then you want to come down and you want to click on buy Great British Pounds because I'm buying Great British Pounds with my USDT. Then again, scroll up that bar depending on how much you want to exchange. And once again, I'm exchanging 100%. And once you're happy with everything, click on buy Great British Pounds or whatever your currency says. Again, if you've gone with a limit order, this will appear in open orders. Otherwise, it will go straight into like the fulfilled orders section. Now, if we come back up to the top, click on wallet again and click on fear and spot we can see that it takes us over to our page here and we can see that now I've got 91 Great British Pounds. Now what I can do is I can click on this withdraw button and it'll take me straight to this area here where I input all my details to withdraw that Great British Pounds into my bank account. So that's how you withdraw Shiba Inu tokens out from Binance into your personal bank account. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a like. It really helps out me and my channel. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.